here, and thank you, thank you for stopping by and joining me on this problem. We have four street artists who are asked to paint one-fifth of a wall mural, and they are dividing the section to be painted equally among the four artists. And our task here is to find what fraction of the entire wall mural did each artist decorate. So let's stop and ask ourselves, how can we model this situation? We don't have a diagram here, but if we can draw one, we can better wrap our head around what's going on here. So we wanna take what's in our head, our thinking, and put it down on paper. So let's start off by imagining our wall, which we are going to paint a mural on. And these four artists are only painting one fifth of the mural. So we split the wall up into five equal sections. And four of those sections are off limits. We only care about one-fifth of the whole mural. Now, out of that one-fifth, the four artists are dividing it equally amongst them. So we want to cut that one-fifth section into four equal parts. So each of the four artists is decorating their own section. So now that we can better visualize what's going on, let's revisit the question, what fraction of the entire wall mural did each artist decorate? So what fraction of the whole thing is that one section? So we can think of a fraction as the numerator representing the part and the denominator representing the whole thing. Now the part is that one little green section and the whole thing would be how many of those little green sections would make up the entire mural. Now we can figure that out by cutting each of those one-fifth sections into fourths, like we did with the first one, and then counting how many make up the entire thing. Doing it this way gives us a total of 20, so we know that each artist decorated one twentieth of the entire wall mural. And this should make sense because that one-fourth was multiplied by each one-fifth section of the entire mural. When we multiply fractions together, we do numerator times numerator, in this case one times one, which just equals one, and then denominator by denominator, in this case four times five, which equals 20, and our resulting fraction is one over 20. So we can conclude that each artist painted one twentieth of the mural. So that was more of a visual approach to thinking about how we can model scenarios that involve multiplying fractions together. And understanding both ways will give you a more complete understanding of working with fractions. And we're done with that question. So thank you again so much for stopping by. You guys are the best. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. See ya.